Hi everybody and welcome back to uh, today's cooking skill session. Today we're going to be making uh, cheese and bacon turnovers and I'm going to be adding some tomato and chilli chutney to mine. Um, you could add caramelised onion chutney, it's quite nice. We could just leave them plain, it's up to you. So, as ever, make sure you are ready for cooking. Have your apron on, wash your hands and have your hair tied up. Also, make sure you've got all your ingredients and equipment ready. So today we'll be needing some ready rolled puff pastry, some grated cheese, some bacon slices, and if you're using it, some chutney, uh, and some milk as well to brush the tops of them with afterwards. The equipment you will need is a lined baking tray, you will need a chopping board, a knife, a teaspoon for your chutney and um, a brush to use for the milk on top. Okay, let's get started. So roll out your puff pastry so it's nice and flat. If the edges are a little bit curved you can just trim them down a little bit so you've got a nice flat sheet. Now I'm going to make six today. So what I'm going to do is to divide my piece of pastry up into six. So I'm going to go two times down the middle. So one, two. And you've got three long rectangles. You turn it around and do one long slice all the way down the centre. Okay. So now we have six little rectangles. What you're going to do next with your chopping board, take one piece of your pastry, just place it down like so. Okay, chutney. Get your chutney, put around about a teaspoon into the centre of there. Should have got a teaspoon, I forgot to get it ready. I wasn't prepared. One second. Okay. Teaspoon into the centre of your puff pastry. Just roughly in the middle. Okay. Then we're going to take just a small pinch, a little pinch of cheese, and pop that on top. Okay. So, cheese in the centre. Then we're going to take our bacon slices. So we get one slice of bacon. I'm going to lie that roughly diagonally. I'm not sure if you can see. Diagonally across the two corners of the puff pastry. Now, I've just been handling raw bacon, so you should always wash your hands straight away after handling raw meat. So I'm going to go and do that right away. Okay, that's done. So next, what you're going to do is take the corners, opposite corners of your pastry, and just fold them, as you can see, one side to the middle, and then the other side to join on top, like that. Just give it a little squeeze, a little push down, and it should stick, as you can see. Okay, then transfer that on your baking tray okay. and then we'll repeat the same thing with the rest of your pastry squares so we'll do one more together so pastry square onto there chutney if you're using it onto the center like so cheese good pinch we're going from corner to corner, sort of diagonally across the piece of pastry. You see, so it goes from this corner to this corner. And then a slice of bacon, lie that again diagonally across. If this bit hangs over too much, you can fold it back in. Okay, corner to corner, push, and then transfer that onto your tray and go wash your hands again. 
Okay, so I've carried on doing that with all the others. This is my last one. So fold that over and we'll pop that onto our tray. So I've managed to fit three on each tray. So I've had to use two baking trays. Okay. Next step we do, take our milk and our little pastry brush and we just we're done to drown it. We're just going to lightly brush the tops where, the, where they overlap. Brush the tops with a little bit of milk and that just makes the pastry nice and golden brown then. Helps it crisp up nicely. And gives it a nice colour. Okay. So once you've done that on all of your turnovers, they're ready to go in the oven. And they need to go in the oven at gas mark um, 5, which is about 190 degrees C, um, for about 15 to 20 minutes. Check them um, after about 12 minutes, see how they're getting on. They should be nice and golden brown and the bacon should be nice and crispy. Okay, so oven gloves or tea towel. We're putting things into the oven. Take your tray. We'll pop those in. Okay, we'll check those in about 15 minutes. Okay, so my turnovers have been in the oven now for actually. 25 minutes so they took a bit longer than um, than 15 minutes but I'd say they're about ready now so I'm going to get them out of the oven and we can have a look okay. and they look very good Okay, so we can see they're nice and golden on top, the pastry is all puffed up and crispy and the bacon is cooked as well. So what you want to do, obviously it's very hot at the moment, you need to leave them just to cool down for about five minutes um, and then you can use a fish slice, uh, which I'll show you. So you can use one of these, um, just take them off the baking parchment. Okay, so enjoy. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.